So, hello and welcome to this video. So we'll be outlining um, Sky Fiber, Full Fiber to the house. Um, so a few weeks ago, and also there's chapters in the video so you can check what stage we're at. So uh, you've got introduction, installation, etc. So recently, a few weeks ago, we did notice there were some major roadworks, some fiber probably being installed, some open reach bands, etc. Um, and then a few days ago, we got a letter, which I'll just pop what it looks like, sort of a leaflet from open reach saying that there's now full fiber available to install your house. So we called up Sky and currently the package that we're on is the super fast with the boost, which makes it 75 megabytes per second. So at this time it's £34.50. Um, and then we're gonna go to the Ultra Fast Plus, which is actually cheaper for some reason, um, at £34 currently. And this is fibre, so everything underneath full fibre is going to be fibre, probably. That's 500 megabytes per second. Now, although the main advantage of fibre might seem like it's the speed, how some people, for example, larger families, the main advantage is going to be um, your bandwidth will be higher, so it'll be able to handle more devices. Because um, normally, if there's too many devices on that one copper cable, then the speed's gonna get slower. So the government has pledged to sort of um, roll out fibre to everywhere. We are in quite a rural area, so it's surprising that we got fibre. Um, but it's great, so. Currently, there aren't many people home, so we only have around 40 devices. Well, only, that's still quite a lot. But um, when people are home, there's gonna be more than this, upwards of 50. Um, so if I just do a speed test right now, this is what I'm currently getting. We're not next to the router, however, there's a Sky Boost on my desk. Sometimes, well normally it's around 40, but this really just depends. If I just do it on my iPad, it might be different. I think because I've got a game on right now. Yeah, bandwidth is being used. So, um, again, we have opted for the Sky Fiber, and as per the Sky app has gone, one of these steps is the delivery of a converter. Now this, this sort of depends on what you have currently. For example, if you already have a Sky Hub with, um, WAN, with a WAN port, then that can do fiber. So we actually only got an Ethernet cable, which I assume is category six to handle gigabit speeds and just a few leaflets so you got how to get a sky q hub running and this sort of um makes it seem as if you already have this however a lot of people will, but will not have this already and we'll have it installed because we're going to get it installed today is the 18th of december and the installation date is the 4th of january and it's going to be free i expect so that's what it sort of looks like with an open reach logo and you've got the fiber optic which is a very thin cable and then you'll have like an ethernet cable which comes out of it and again you plug the ethernet cable from your ONT to your WAN port now we're going to go through the current setup now so we do have quite a few boosters we've got three boosters and two sky boxes so effectively we've got five boosters um, it's quite an old house, you've got brick walls, which is why we need that. Um, booster underneath this desk. That's sort of like what your design will normally look like. There is Sky Max, which has like little pods that just plug straight into wall socket. Um, this one has Ethernet in it. Show you. Ethernet. Um, however, the newer ones don't actually have Ethernet. I expect to save costs, it depends what one you receive. So that's what we're getting right now, pretty high. And we'll wait for that upload, I suppose. Up oh, is normally around 10 to 15, 16. There you go. Again, this is the far corner of the house, probably the furthest point away from 
the Rita. Sky Key Design Booster. It's probably around five years old. Which is just hidden over here. And the main job for this one is to transmit the signal to the one in the outbuilding. Then we also have, this is the main hub. This is the hub 4.2. We actually made a video on us getting this hub, which was um, three years ago now. We were one of the first people to receive it. So here it is. It looks a bit like the booster. And you've got four Ethernet ports. And this one's a WA, WAN port. And if you have a telephone landline still, you can plug that into there. And you've also got this copper cable. So this is what provides the internet right now which is sort of just like legacy and what most homes have, and that's this telephone cable, which is existing. Yeah, and it's quite slow. And I'll just do a quick speed test. This Mac is connected directly to um, the router, and we're getting 70, which is pretty good. Getting our package is 75. So again, we've got a see the stuff under the desk. You've got a switch underneath the desk. So that switch turns. You need to go up a bit. Turns one Ethernet cable into four, I believe, or more. And it is powered. And that's limited to 100 megabytes per second. But you can get ones, obviously. They go to gigabit speeds. And then if we just look down here, you have the micro filter, which is just for the existing copper cable, telephone cable. And this router is actually plugged directly into the sky key box via this black cable right here. So it goes all the way down to the side of the house. The sky key box, which you'll be familiar with, I'm sure. And you can actually see, this is the Ethernet port. And I'm about to take the camera. And look back here. Lots of cables, but you can see that this is a switch. And it's basically plugged into TV, um, sound system, Nintendo Switch, um, stuff like that. And the cable which goes out, you can see satellite cable, the white one, and the Ethernet, the black one. So, because that switch is only limited to 100 megabytes per second, once we get a fiber, we'll probably just plug it straight into the Sky Key box. If we move to the Sky Mini box, we can do a speed test. So, this is connected to the Sky Key box's Wi Fi because again, they act like Little Wi Fi extenders or boosters. And then, in theory, if we go back to the Sky box, this would read the same speed as the router because it is plugged in directly. Um, what am I doing? Now our speeds do fluctuate quite a lot. So that's hopefully what a fibre will fix. Because we have a lot of devices. Okay, so on the day of the install, which is 4th of January, today's 18th, we can expect the engineers to feed the cable down the telephone pole. Um, and then attach it sort of upstairs because we are hoping to have a fiber box where our existing router is. If, you're, if you live in a built up area, it might go um, sort of underground through existing lines. And then they attach a box to the outside of your house and then another one inside. Okay, so we've just had the fiber, installed the copper cable, 
has been replaced with the fiber cable and so this is what this is what the fiber cable comes out from this is the same material as the line and basically comes down here into this box so in here basically it's just like a swirl of fiber and then goes into the house so this was not the ideal position for the router again we wanted it upstairs in the study so it's really not ideal but um this is what it is so as you can see it comes into this very small box and then basically the fiber this is the fiber very thin and it basically gets transmitted into WAN and then here is the box and this is the Ethernet cable which goes into WA and port and according to the Sky app we're getting normally around 475 megabytes in from the fibre and but normally it's not the same as Wi-Fi because bandwidth and all the other devices being used so this is what we're getting currently um sometimes it is 400 sometimes it's 200 currently we're getting 320 and upload pretty good so previously it was 70 next to the router Okay, and we'll just explain our setup. So obviously the route is there. And there's no Ethernet connection currently to the Sky Key Box. However, if we were to look inside, we are still gonna utilize the Ethernet cable, which goes from here to where the router previously was. Which we'll show you in a second, but we'll just do a quick speed test. Should be getting around 200. Now the fiber installers are operating on behalf, that's actually 400 now, on behalf of Sky, it's open reach, however it might be different in your area. So in theory, on the other end of the ethernet, it's gonna be around about that speed. However, um, I'll show you what that's like in a second. So you replace the router. It's not perfect because Currently we have it plugged into switches which are limited to 100 megabytes per second currently because they're a bit cheaper. However, if we were to have it directly plugged in, as, as, like um, if we were to test it on the iMac, it's going to be around 200 directly plugged in. But we do have an Ethernet cable going from here and if I just grab the camera, we can see all of these cables. So this is the Ethernet coming in from the Sky Key box downstairs. And then this is um, the switch. This is what the Ethernet comes in from. And then this is for um, the iMac. So again, um, this isn't directly plugged in, so it's limited to under 100 megawatts per second. But we will just do a speed test. pretty good and when it is dark plugged in you're getting around 110 because it normally halves the speed um, for whatever reason okay so underneath this desk as you can see so we have pretty good signal all around the house now I should note that um, normally houses are not made out of brick walls so your speeds will not be as low as this if you've got a 400, 500 megabit per second connection package it's brick walls and the interior walls yeah of course your so exterior walls will probably be brick so it depends on your house's construction really but most people will see speeds more than this if your reset is supplied with 500 108, that's a pretty good speed, which we tested before. There's no booster in this room, although you still have full bars. And that's pretty good. 
that is sweet before. So it does vary quite a lot. Obviously, the time of day right now is actually peak internet traffic. So yeah, I think um, the Sky Fiber was definitely worth it, especially since it was free and the same price as our package, but for around 430 megabytes or more. Um, and it is quite a small box compared to what I saw in other videos and there's no other boxes for like batteries. So that is as it comes. And it does have a power cable, which goes into a power socket. And yeah, um, so that's the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. And hopefully this has helped you with the decision to um, choose if you want to go with fiber or not, if it's available in your area. So. Thank you for watching this video and we hope you found it very helpful and make sure to leave a like and a comment if you have any questions. We hope you have a good day.